Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Thursday specialty list. Today we're going to be trying out Storm to the Dinosaurs. We haven't played this on this channel for a while, so we're going to see if we can't win with today's Pioneer format. I think this might be the best deck for Hulking Raptor in Pioneer because it allows us to ramp right into the Thorn the Festival. That's what we're trying out today. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're for future videos. We're on our way to a thousand subs. Let's get there together. And let's get into the deck list. So the deck list, we have, you know, a decent stock of Hatcher and Alpha and Crasher. Those are our premier five drops. We have Planeswalkers to come in and substitute against the control matchups. Thrashy McGee's, Obliterating Bolts, uh, Cinder Vines, Alpine Moon, uh, we have so many diverse options for the sideboard. So, 22 lands, pretty easy stock. 8 elves, so let's get into the gameplay and see the deck in action. Plays Temple of Triumph. Drop the forest and an elf. They gave. Carplusion Forest. Yearling. Smash Face. Say go. Rootbound Craig. You got anything for one red or white? Johnny's welcome. So it must be some sort of com uh, life gain. Since I don't need to cast anything this turn, we're just going to play a tap stomping ground. Serve our life total. Smash face for four. So they go. A retreat. He seems like he's having a difficult time getting all the basic types. So forest. Play alpha. Smash face for seven. Finally finds his basic. Borrow time. Probably gets rid of the alpha. So we have seven points of damage passes so we came here to of course storm we'll storm the festival get these two got game one so against mid-range honestly i think i'm fine run it back spires and passes sweet we drew another land that's good elf they go another tap land plays another johnny's welcome pathway on red hammer skulls they go I do think this is one of the better aggressive variants of dinosaurs. The tap land. Dawn of Hope. A lot of enchantments. So we play that untapped. Play Hulking Raptor. Smack for six. They go. Another tap land. Wipes my board. Play a Carplusion Forest. I think I have to attack. It does get a stun counter, but I think it's worth it. Crasher. So they go. Makes a 1-1, one, one, gains a life. The Mountain with 5-drop. Fumigate. I think I play Hatcher. Smack. Having What's great about this version is you don't, we don't need the Raptor. Plays Welcome, so we could actually cast Hatcher, which is really awesome. So I think I want to leave up a Red Source in case I want to Rage. So this gets to go ahead and make another 3-3. Three, three. We go to Combat. Convert this one. And we smack out with tons of dinosaurs. One and zero, one and no. Let's get into the next pathway. Win a war. Say go. I know this is a little risky, but we'll try this. We just need a single land. Tap land. So we drop down a land of elf and attack. Say go. This might be scary. Triome probably has a binding up. Play the less cool art and ship the turn. Fortress. I'm guessing this is Niv some sort. Karuga. Lockdown. That sucks. Play Mystic. Smash face for six. Plane. So this must be fi uh, fires into incarnation. Is it just fi fires? He is casting something. Play the Fable. Again, no land. We just pass. Coma. Yeah, so this definitely is incarnation. That's the only deck that plays Coma. Probably trying to find its incarnation. Cycles of Triome. Sacred Foundry. But you don't really need to shock yourself since fires covers everything. Tulsimir. Kills my L. Binding, sure. Hits me. Take it. I don't think this is going to be a bad matchup. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm off. So we bring in Cindervine and Thrashy. Probably trim down on the five drop. Vivian Reed probably in. And just cut this Yearling because it's just probably the weakest dinosaur. I don't like that. Gorge, Elf, say go. Let's play the tap land. Found on red, I suppose. Play Thrashy, say go. Savini Triumph, so no binding up. Cavern on Dino, Hulking Raptor, and Smash. Fable, add some green mana. Play Alpha, and we'll snipe with on a red. Smash Face. Definitely is an argument I should have cracked the Bronthodon, 
but I kind of want to wait. How great is we can't even lose the lockdown. So got it. Run it back. Tap land. Okay, forest is decent here. So now I can play the forest and elf. So I go grove. So mountain still makes this open, I guess. Play a mystic. So I go. Still not sold if I want to put this on green or red. I only need one red. I do need double green here. Just to try them. Okay. Put that on green. Hulking Raptor, say go. So Fortress, that could mean a Fires is inbound. Or an Incarnation. But if Fires is inbound, I'll probably end up getting... If it's just an Incarnation, I'll probably get Tulsimir. Fight my Elf. Bone Crusher. So Cavern, of course, on Dino. Play the Hatcher. Play a Cinder Vines. And Smash Face for three. So next turn, I could have double Cinder Vines up. It's like a lockdown. Oh, cycles. I guess he doesn't need to tap mana for a lockdown. There's the lockdown. There goes my tokens. Untap land with four. Binding? To get the Hatcher? Elish Norn. Play the Elf. Cinder Vines. Tap lands. They go. Tulsimir. So that fights with Hatcher. So they trade. That one doesn't resolve. He still gains life from it? Interesting. So next he targets my Hatcher and then my Elf. Goes to combat. I'm assuming smacks with both. Smashes lockdown. Out of war. That seems weird to really waste your time on that. We'll take it. So you just take a point of damage and it still blows up anyways. That was my best top deck. Not the greatest of cards to find though, of course. So they go. Swings out. If I just do a straight up trade, I think that's my best choice. Oh my gosh. Okay, another elf. Pass the turn. So now I have to trade in two elves. Puts Karuga in hand. So I mean, plays that said Karuga. Cycles. Incarnation. So he sacks the fires. What is he getting? He already went through his best card in Elish Norn. Chomp, chomp. We need like a storm. Aha, the best possible scenario. Okay, one and one. Let's get into the neck of the grounds. Tap. Say go. Coast. Send spirits. All right. Another yearling. Guess play yearling. Say go. Islands. Obsession. Attacks. And draws. Seiju. Mystic. Yearling. And shove for three. Just attacks. Okay. If I draw land, I definitely want it to be a cavern. Play raptor. Probably eats a counter. Of course. Smash for six. Supreme Phantom, Elf, Shove. Could turn on a Mutable and block or trade, but doesn't seem great. They go to five. Rattles, Wanderer, Shove, but just the Wanderer. Okay, and the Rattles. Seems weird to leave back the Phantom when you don't really ever want to block with it. One time, give me a good card. I don't really have a choice, I don't think. Reggie, yeah. Now we have to Shove, so he could phases one out. Okay, Thrashy's in, potentially Cinder Vines. Down year. Yearling. Yearling has been felt so bad as of late. Actually, I might want to try a bolt here, but I have not been impressed so far with Yearling. Like, it feels horrible. Run it like that. Gorge. Elf. Say go. Otawara. Okay, Wanderer. Not too shabby. Obliterating Bolt. On a red, I suppose. Play Pugs. Say go. Waste. Phantom. Shoves. That's not great for him. If we draw a land, it'd be an obscene. It's a land. The best land in this matchup, actually. Play the second Pugs. And let's trigger him to go ahead and sack his Wanderer. Called it. Smash you for six. Coast. So we don't have to worry about a Settle the Wreckage if he's running it. Curious Obsession. Now, I could, you could argue that I could bolt here on my turn. Try to bait the Rattles, so that way he kind of... If I draw another removal, it'd be perfect. That is not a removal spell. So I think I just shove for 12. He's really contemplating this. Just, just taking 12 to 2 is just bad. Attempt to remove. Snare. So that tells me a lot, right? If he had Rattle Chance, he would have cast it. The Volt is a blocker. There's a second blocker. Got game 2. I think I go up to Cinder Vines. Down the Dino. Maybe one Storm, one Hatcher. I don't like that. Pathway and a Wanderer. So my best move, I think, is Gorge Mystic, say go. If he leaves up counter magic, we'll just cavern pug. Just runs out of shackles and smacks. So no curious obsession, because if he did, he would play it. Play pugs, say go. Swings out with shackles. Cinder vines. 
snare. So we stomping grounds on that. Shoot the shackles. Shove with hammer. That's a waste. Rattles. Sorcery speed. Just to grow the wonder. So we're at 12. We're at basically a parody. Man, these lands are killing me. Play a mystic. Ship it. Session. Take my beats. So he plays a waste. What does he have up? Play the hatcher. This doesn't get quellered. It doesn't get countered. Second rattles. Second egg. And attack. For nine in total. So it means he has to chomp. He could trade with the dinosaur token, but that's not profitable, really. He also might have a uh, phase out. This takes it to three. That's interesting. Lord. Ah, come on, man. Rattles. All right, I guess we lose. So one and two. Let's get into the wrap up. So what are we going to speak about this deck? Overall, we went one and two. Biggest takeaway, Yearling is not good. I, I kept sh dropping it down. It A 3-2 body for two is kind of subpar. Uh, it does become maybe a 6-2 um, on, on the falling term, but overall, like, it doesn't help you get to Storm, period. So, like, it honestly just feels worse than a carry at it. Because really, Storm is what gives us the advantage, not necessarily a 2-drop. So, like, overall, I think that that card in general is just medium at best, which is and it's awkward because... Out of all the shells, this would be the only one that could even utilize it. Uh, any other deck, Raptor is just a better card, right? So, like, why even bother playing that over Marauding Raptor? Marauding Raptor helps you discount your, all your dinosaurs, double spell, and just straight up go wide fast. Um, so, Yearling, I think, is just not cut out for any of the best variants of dinosaurs. Secondly, the other thing that I've noticed about this particular list was the land issues. Now, normally in the other versions of dinosaurs, I play commune to dinosaurs. So that helps me for one mana dig for another land, which helps me curve out. This deck does not have that. And it can I fit it in? Maybe you're, maybe I cut yearling for that. But then it feels like I am guess I'm going to 26 creatures, which six of them are five drops. So or ten of them are five drops. It's probably not necessarily where I want to be, per se. I think Carietta makes more sense. Uh, Land-wise, I think we're okay. I do kind of wonder if we want more caverns against spirits. It definitely made a difference. So in that case scenario, I think that could be something to look into. But other than that, everything else felt pretty reasonable. Um, the other thing we probably are missing in the board could be is Volley. But that would have came in against spirits. But at the same time, like, I'm not really sure what I would cut from the board. You kind of have to have the Planeswalkers for the control matchup. Uh, Thrashing McGee's is still reasonable. It, you could argue that, that maybe that should be the other option. Um, so I'm not sure there. But like I said, the biggest takeaway is how disappointing Yearling was. Mer Hulking Raptor was good if we get to play it on curve like we want to be, which is usually turn three, right? We can get it down turn three, which gives us enough mana to storm turn four and win the game. That is the highest upside for Hulking Raptor. So Hulking Raptor, I think this is the best build version of this de of dinosaurs to play him. Any other version, I think he's subpar. He's just a 5-3 for four. Um, if you're not taking that mana and ramping into something that's actually a huge payoff, then it doesn't seem like it's very good. So... Like I said, I think Hulking Raptor was spot on. Hammer Skull is one of the best plays you could be doing. A turn two, six, six is still really good in Pioneer. But other than that, that's all I have to say. If you have any suggestions at all, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be alerted for future videos. And until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.